So good morning, everyone. This is Ishan Rakesh Roshan here. I work as Assistant Professor at RGK Triple T Basar, Telangana. Welcome you all to this session on Microsoft Office Online. Uh, so Microsoft Office, you know, is a household name. So Word of Word, PowerPoint, PPT, presentation, you know. So all of these we very much, uh, you know, we use it in our day-to-day -day life. So now the point is, uh, so let us say we do not have a licensed version of it. So what do you mean by licensed version? You buy it for your organization or you buy it for your uh, personal thing and then you have it in your system. So now uh, if you think, you know, I want to try out Microsoft Word or PowerPoint or if you think, no, no, I cannot afford it, but I wanted to use it for, for my, you know, uh, uh, for my day-to-day -day purposes or, uh, you know, for my teaching purposes or something like that. So now I am going to tell you how do we get Microsoft Office, the latest Microsoft Office, complete Office, uh, completely free. So, but what we are going to get is Microsoft Office online on the web. Okay, we will get it completely free. Now I'm going to tell you how do we, how are we going to get it? So the first thing that you have to do is go to Office 365. Just click on Office 365. So now go to this Office 365 login. Microsoft Office. So now here, uh, two things would uh, pop up: sign in and get Office. We have to sign in, but before going to that, uh, so what will happen if I go, uh, click on Get Office? It will show me all the paid plans. Okay, so let me just click on it and then show you uh, the paid plan. So now, for example, Microsoft Office for Home for Business. So let's just see. You know, how does it look like for Home? So now you can see uh, Microsoft Office Family, uh, where you can have uh, six users. This is the one, and personal. And this one, so right now we are we are worried about getting Microsoft the same thing. I mean, all these features for free online. Okay, we cannot download uh, the entire software. No, but we can come. We can continue to use it online completely free. So let's see how do we do it. So for that, once again, let me just uh, go to this Office 365 login. So now I have to click on sign in. So which means I should have a Microsoft account. So let me now get a Microsoft account. So for that, what I'll do is I'll just say. Microsoft account, sorry. So I just type in Microsoft account creation. It just take me less than two minutes to create a free account in Microsoft. So now here, when you click on the Microsoft account, so you'll get account.microsoft.com. So sign in, create a Microsoft account. Right now we do not have an account, right? So let's create a Microsoft account. So this is the first step. Once you create an account, you can use the same account in the office. So it's all, I mean, I think already I've signed in. So let me just uh, sign out of this so that there's no confusion. Mm, so I'm just signing out. Mm, yeah, so now let me create a Microsoft account. So now create account. So you can use your own email ID, normal Gmail or Yahoo mail, else you can get a new email address. So let me just click, get a new email address. So at outlook.com or hotmail.com. So let me just put hotmail.com. You can use anything. So Rakesh underscore Roshan underscore R. Now I want to make sure that it is available. Okay. Rakesh underscore Roshan underscore R. Okay. Next. Let's click on next. So thank God it's available. So Rakesh underscore Roshan underscore R at hotmail.com. If it is not available, uh, it will tell you that no, it's not available. Choose some other username. So now let me choose a password. That's fine. Uh, this is okay. So now just click on next. Uh, okay, it will just do this uh, check whether you are robo or not. No problem. So just uh, go ahead with that. All right, I guess it should be correct. Let me just click on next. So yeah, once the verification is done and that's it. Okay, good. So now I have got a Microsoft account. That's all. It just took us less than a minute, right? So now I'm, I'll just uh, I'll just log out of this. Let me remember this. Rakesh underscore Roshan underscore R at Hotmail. Okay. So let me just sign out. And now let me just uh, go back to the Microsoft Office login. So this is the second step, right? So once you have created a Microsoft account, now second step is go to Office and then sign in. So sign in. Let me now sign in. So Rakesh, double, using the Microsoft account that I've created just now. Okay. Roshan underscore underscore R at the rate hotmail.com, right? Yeah, hotmail. All right. So yeah, password. Whatever I've used just now, right? All right. 
Fine. So give the password. <coughs> Just a minute. All right. So that's the password. And now, uh, no problem. So now look at this. This is very important. Free office for the web. Office online apps only. And I'm also going to get 5GB cloud storage. So whatever data I, I, so I use Microsoft Word, I can use Microsoft PPT and all the data gets stored in the one drive. I'll just show you also. Okay. So, and I get free office for the web. So internet, I'll just show you how do I get. So internet, whenever I have internet, I can use them. I can use this completely uh, for free. So free office for the web is what we are looking at. Okay. So this is all okay. Fine. No problem. So you will, you will, uh, that's fine. So you will land up in this place. So install office by office. So install office, you cannot do because I'm not, I cannot download it because I do not have a license. I cannot, if you want to buy office, feel free to buy office. But right now, so now what all you can use all these apps, Outlook, OneDrive, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, and calendar to do Skype. All of these, you can start using officially completely free of cost. So this is office online. Let me just show you uh, word and PowerPoint. So click on a word. So now this is the latest word. So click on a blank document. So let's just click on blank document. So this will take us to the word word, the latest word. So yeah. type in so yeah so you can just type in do all the you know uh, you know all the sizing and all of that uh, you could do and uh, you can just save it so let us say you have finished working on this you can just save it so how do we save it just click on this uh, give the name so sample word so let me just give sample word so dot docs where does it get stored it gets stored in your OneDrive. no problem okay so now it is already stored as sample word number one so now you have saved your word document so what else you can do see almost i tell you 50 to 70 percent functionalities that are there i mean if you have microsoft office in your uh, license you know in your desktop or laptop so 50 to 70 percent functionalities are are available in this office no? online office that we are looking at right now so you can see all these features in the ribbon here you can see all these features so all of these are available so more or less it's like the normal you know offline uh, uh, word only but as i said 50 to 70 percent functionalities will be there some functionalities you will miss out first okay because it is completely free but i tell you this is this is more than enough for us if you want to do it from from a teaching point of view education point of view this this should uh, you know be suffice okay now another interesting thing that you could do here is you can also collaborate this is a, something beautiful that i love about this first of all it's completely free and on top of it i can also collaborate so you can just see here share so click on the share so what do you mean by collaboration now you and your uh, colleague are working on some project or something you are developing a, a teaching uh, handout or teaching the resource now you can work you, you both can work on the same word document simultaneously so you can collaborate so he he or she will be somewhere else typing in, in, in his or her own system and you are here working on it so all your uh, uh, editing so you can edit the same document at once that's the beauty of collaboration so you just have to give the name email id or you can just simply copy the link copy this link now what they can do you have you are the owner right you are the owner of this so you can give you allow them to edit so you can give them the editing rights so collaboration means obviously you should give them the editing rights uh, and you can also put uh, expiration date password but these are uh, you know as you can see it's a premium uh, feature so we cannot use it no problem uh, i will allow my faculty my colleague to uh, uh, to edit this that's fine so as i said i just copy the link and then i share it to my colleague okay so this is one beautiful thing that we could do in Microsoft Word online. Now, let me just, uh, so as I said, all these apps you can use. I'll just show you the other app, PowerPoint. So PowerPoint, uh, so now here, once again, you can create a blank presentation. Mm. So yeah, so as I said, so you can start putting the things. Uh, designer is one more thing, but you can only actually get free, three free designers here, but uh, don't worry about it. 
so yeah as you can see so whatever is there here so home insert you can insert picture shapes and all of that designs transitions animations so animations you cannot do here because it's it's a free thing that's there you can but you can do all other things so you can just check so play the uh, slide show and all of that you can do okay there is a uh, so same thing so yeah you can play the slide show okay and uh, let me just escape this so all of this is possible okay and you can uh, save it as i said once again so sample this is a sample ppt okay so it gets saved to your one drive as you can see here and once again here also you can do collaboration share you can do collaboration okay this is very important so once you are done the same thing create a new slide and how do you use ppt you can do all of that here okay as i said 50 to 70 percent functionalities you know will be there for example uh in in license pp uh, powerpoint i mean um, powerpoint uh, of the office version you can also do screen recording you can also do the recording of your ppt right with your voice and all of that but right now here you cannot use it number one and uh, but the the another good thing is you can annotate here also i mean so for example let me just annotate so let me just show you so let me just show you that i could uh, annotate this so just give me a minute mm, so i just click on this to something this is the beauty of it so let's see can you see I'm annotating on the PowerPoint. So annotation facility is there in the free version also. I mean the office version also. So this is the uh, right. I don't want to do that. Okay. So you can do annotation. You can highlight. You have a picture. You can highlight and then show you. So all this is feasible. I repeat, 50 to 70 percent functionalities would be there, right? Uh, you you want to download this PPT to your uh, desktop? So you can just uh, save a copy. Uh, you can just save a copy to the OneDrive. Um, download as you can download a copy so download a copy to your computer you can download it as a ppt or you can download it as a pdf also all right so this future is very much there so you can download this as a uh, uh, either ppt or pdf i just go back to the word once uh, let me just go back to the word and uh, Another important thing that you could do is you can upload, you can upload something, some document from your system and uh, you can uh, edit it here and then save it in your, uh, in uh, the office. For example, let me show you. I just picked up one document from my desktop and it's getting uploaded as you can see. So once it gets up, it gets uploaded. Now this is the document. So now I have it with me in my office uh, online web version. So now I can start editing. I can start typing, you know, so, so whatever you want, you can just put, right? You can just put, and and once again, you can you can print this. So save as or so let me just so save as copy online. You want to download a copy to your computer? You can download the Word document or download a copy of this document to your computer as PDF. Let me just click on this to just show you that it's downloadable. Let me just download it for a while, and let me also show you the downloaded file. Could you see that? So now I have created a Word document online, you know, in Microsoft, and I can download it to either my system or I can download it as a PDF. Okay, so all this is possible, it's completely free. And collaboration already I've mentioned. Similarly, you can also explore the other apps. So right now I'll not concentrate on uh, the other apps. So for as a teacher, OneNote is very beautiful app. We have discussed it in one of the you know the videos earlier. OneNote, I love OneNote. As I said, it's a beautiful tool. So all these you could use straight away, completely free, legally. You know, this is this is this offer is provided by Microsoft itself. Okay, so that's the beauty of Microsoft Office Online, completely free. Okay. So now next thing is OneDrive. Now we were talking about OneDrive. Where does all this data? So now, for example, right, I, I have used uh, this. Uh, I have created two files. So where are those files uh, present? So next. Next, let me just. Uh, all right. So no, I want only uh, like right now. I'm using free version, so it's okay. So now you can. Can you see here? Sample word, sample PPT. So now the ones that we have created just now. So all of them are in your uh, one drive. So now here it will also show you that you have used 1.15 MB out of 5 GB. So you can create any number of uh, documents till 5 GB. It's completely free. 
and if you you can also share your document from here itself i mean so click on this and you can see open share download delete move to copy you can do all of this and just click on share and same thing just copy this link and share this document you know as you do it so you want to share this document you can share the document so you can give the editing rights so either you can do it from OneDrive or you can do it from the microsoft uh, uh, word or ppt that is from here itself the share thing okay you can also comment so when you share it your uh, friend colleague does some work and then uh, he, he sends you back you know the comments can also be there so you can put a comment he will respond he puts a comment you respond so all of that is feasible so as i said this is a real beautiful thing that uh, that microsoft has provided so microsoft office online on the web so if there is no internet you cannot use this number one Number two, at least 30 days, you know, at least uh, once in 30 days, you should uh, visit this. Else, uh, you know, you will miss out on this. Obviously, we, but, but when you are teaching, right? So obviously, we keep track of the things. So only thing is, once in 30 days, you should visit it. It's not a free trial, okay? It's not a free trial at all. It's completely free. And another thing that I wanted to share with all of you is, if you are an educator, you can get the off, off, offline Microsoft also completely free. Let me just show you how to get that. So Microsoft Office free for educators. So now you can just click on this. So get started with Office 365 for free. So now you can just give your school email address, which means something, some mail ID which ends with the dot at the rate uh, dot edu dot in, right? So, but dot ac dot in it will not allow okay so dot edu dot in if you have just enter that and then you will be able to download the office 365 education completely free and then put it to your system uh, and then start using it from your system so this you could do provided you have a school email address if you do not have it nothing to worry please go ahead with what i have told you that is uh, just create a microsoft account go to office 365 and then log in with that and then start using Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Excel, and all this Outlook, all this space for completely free. So I hope this is uh, useful for all of you. And another thing is, if you think, I mean, I personally believe Microsoft is really good. I mean, I would prefer to buy it, okay? If you're not satisfied with uh, all the futures that are available, you want to get 100% futures, I would go ahead and buy it okay so i'll just show you the plans right now just for understanding that's all okay so we have seen this sometime back also so like uh, so if you want to buy a single thing it's four thousand per year or you can this is better i mean six five thousand two ninety nine per year you'll get for subscription for six people okay and each person will get one tv uh, in the one drive so the free one that we have got is 5 gb right so here you can get uh, one tb so it's up to you right if you want to buy buy this and then uh, uh, install it in your system and then start using it offline also feel free to do that else if you have internet access okay and you you want to use this completely free go ahead with uh, with the mechanism that we have seen just now and i'm sure this is helpful to most of us and since it is online you you use it at your workplace just log into that office 365 use the same document modify the document right you can download it you can upload it as we have seen right and uh, i think that should uh, do the job for us so i hope this uh, is helpful to all of you so uh, so thank you uh, for your time and uh, go ahead start using microsoft office online completely for free and uh, take care uh, Stay home, stay safe. Yeah.